Hey everyone, this is Tony from Handlebar Workshops, and today we're in the office workshop. I'm replacing the batteries on my watch, a Casio Edifice EFA-119. I've seen videos of batteries being replaced on similar watches to this one, but I haven't seen one on this particular model. And it's a little different than what I've seen, so let me show you. First, this takes two batteries. This is the 399-395 or the SR927, which is what it'll say in the watch, SR927. I've got a Phillips screwdriver here. I've got a pick. And this is a flathead screwdriver and a magnetic bowl to put all the parts in. So let's move all this out of the way and get to working on the watch itself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the pick to remove the little spring bar here. There we go. And it comes right out. And we can remove the little spring pin and put that in our magnetic bowl. Now we've got a nice view of the back of the watch here. We've got four screws back here. And this tells us that it's the Casio EFA-119. So now we take the Phillips screwdriver and remove all those screws. And we're going to use our tweezers to remove those little screws. And put them in our magnetic bowl. Now we can just remove the back and put that in our magnetic bowl. We're going to use our pick. We're going to go right down into here and there's a little latch. We've got to get that latch off. Let me turn it sideways here. See, and it just kind of pops up like that. You can see there's two batteries down there. Pull this back just a little bit. positive side is facing up. So you just dump those batteries out. And if one of these plastic retainers falls out, make sure you put it back inside just like this one is here. Now we get our replacement batteries. Now the batteries will have a little plus sign on the top indicating the positive side. And that's the side we want facing up. Now we can close that little latch there. Hold it down with your thumb. Use the little pick to reach in there again. And clip it on there. There we go. And a little note here says, after battery replacement, contact AC with terminal negative using the tweezers. If you look right here, there's a little AC with an arrow pointing at this little opening right here. So I'm going to use a paper clip and try to connect the negative terminal, which is on the bottom of the batteries, with this metal part up here. And there we go. Now when you go to put the back back on, there's a little rubber gasket here. That's what's used to seal out the water. It should go right in this little groove around the watch here. Just take a little time and get it in there properly. You don't want your watch to leak. Now we can place the back on. I'm going to use the tweezers to drop the screws into the holes. But don't tighten your screws all the way down just yet. So once you get your screws seated, but not totally tight, you're going to start going around and tightening in a circular pattern until they get tight. That way you're not crushing your o-ring in a weird way. You want everything to kind of move down at the same rate. If 
Finally, just make sure that that O-ring is all the way inside and not sticking out at all. And we look to be good. Finally, we take the spring bar, put it in there, drop it into the hole there, use our little flat screwdriver here, push the spring bar down, under there and then just wiggle it around a bit until it clips back in. There we go. Now we're all good. And there we have it. After 5-10 minutes of work, the watch is running and ready to be set. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and maybe hit subscribe. That'll help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.